All right, so we are on the OG Osmo Action. And can this thing still vlog in 2024? Let's go find out. Man, that's smelling good. That's smelling way too good. All right, well, welcome back. And you got it, we are on the OG Osmo Action. And I was thinking, man, what camera out there haven't I used in a long time? And this would be it. It's just been sitting around. I thought, okay, I'm gonna put it all together, charge it up, got an extra battery on me, got the black Pro Mist Tiffin filter on it with the small rig cage and using the OG mic system from DJI. And let's just take it out. Let's do a little vlog with it. I'll show you how I have it set up here in just a little bit. Uh, first, we're gonna go over some of the stuff that this camera brought to the table way back in 2019. But this camera really changed everything for me, got me out of that 1080p and 1080i camera and got me into 4K. Let's go over some of the specs here. This camera runs you from 1080p to 4K, uh, 60 frames per second. It also has 1080p 240 slow motion. And I think on time-lapse, you can actually do 4K on this uh, camera. It also has an uh, interchangeable battery. Now it has that quick switch uh, button on it, which is pretty awesome. And also when you flip it around, you have this small camera icon, which you can then also go through different options of the camera. I tell you what, it's starting to rain again. Man, I can't win for losing on this deal. Anyway, let's continue on with this. Uh, the next thing for this camera is it's 145 degree field of view. And DJI, you need to go back to the 145 degree field of view because the 155 degree field of view sucks. <laughs> Sorry, but I cannot stand that. I love this 145 degrees. Right now, like I said, I got the back pro mist filter on here and I don't even have to worry about it getting in the screen or anything like that. And that's probably part of the reason why I want to see uh, DJI go back to the 145 degree field of view instead of the 155 degree field of view. Nobody needs anything that wide. Now it also has voice command. I think this uh, actual voice command on this camera was as much better than the one for the Action 4. All right, and another thing, as I mentioned earlier, this small rig cage. Now, this small rig cage is pretty awesome. And I can't remember who I heard that from. It was Camera Conspiracies. That's right. Yeah, he showed the small rig cage. You can put a 52 millimeter uh, uh, filters on these. Like I said earlier, I got the Black Pro Mist. It's an eighth right now. I think eighth is probably the most you want to do on these cameras, and we are in decent light. I really don't like the normal color profile on this camera, so I always do it in decent light. Then you can just boost that saturation a little bit, drop that contrast maybe a little, or add whatever you need to do, and it works pretty well. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the what's called a Sonova adapter that plugs into the side it goes right into your USB-C and then what I did is I've got a TRS to TRS male I guess you would call it an extension and also an adapter that makes it a 90 so it's not sticking out too far and then I just put that on and tie it right into everything and it works really really well Look at the river, man. Woo, baby, that thing's up. It's almost probably close to action stage if it's that high. All right, now, would I recommend this camera in 2024? I think if you can get it super cheap, I mean, if you're like getting it for a hundred bucks or $150, I would say yes. Especially if you're just starting out and you're not sure you want to vlog or become a famous YouTuber like myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, that's, that's enough BS there. But if you want a good camera that works, that's durable, that has pretty decent image quality, 
this camera's it. If you can find it used, I'm telling you, if you can find it used for like 100, 150 bucks, I'd jump on it. I was thinking about selling this, but now after I I looked at it some more, I'm like, man, I'm gonna start using this thing again. I'm gonna use it some more vlogs coming up here. I don't see why not. It is a fantastic camera and it still works really, really well. I don't know, I, I still love this camera. And I'm telling you, if you can find it cheap, I wouldn't hesitate to get it, especially if you're a beginner and just start now. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this, being back on the OG Osmo Action. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I had to learn a few things again. I, I still love this camera. And I'm telling you, if you can find it cheap, I wouldn't hesitate to get it, especially if you're a beginner and just start now. All right, well, that's all I got for you. I hope everybody's safe out there. Remember, go down there, like, subscribe, tell me what you think about this camera down in those comments below. And as always, be safe out there, take care, and we will catch you next time.